Alright, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. I'm the brother Zakaria. Brother Ina. We're coming at you from the Jim S. Campbell Atlanta Church, okay? And before we get started with this lesson, I want to give all honor and glory on two. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Chakwadash. Give a double honor to our apostles and elders, Great Millstone. And peace, love, and salutations to you. Hopefully, that's been pushing the truth, okay? And as you can see, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, hey, we're back at it with another lesson. And in today's lesson, um, it's just going to be a friendly reminder to Esau, okay? That hey man, the society, this world, all right, which is their heaven, okay, is going to be wiped out, and there's going to be a new earth and a new heaven, all right. And if you just sum up all the things that this devil is doing, why not take him out of power, okay? He destroyed the whole, you know, earth, the ozone layer, all that, man, okay. Destroying the the, the animals, the people, okay. You can't even eat right in this place. You can't even breathe um pure clean air, so to speak. Okay, but um, without further ado, we'll just jump right into it if you didn't have anything else, bro. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, starting at verse 3. It says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. Mm -hmm, the son of perdition, okay? So this devil, all right, this wicked king, all right, because he is the king of this, this world right now, all right, until our true king come back, the king of kings, which is Yahweh Shah. All right, hey, he's ruling this planet right now. He's destroying it, but he's the son of perdition. Now, if you go into that word perdition, it means destruction. All right, and again, he destroyed the whole planet. It's plastic everywhere, all in the ocean. It's oil spills, you know, in different areas. Okay, it's poverty in different areas and rich areas. All right, here it is. You know, you might be in Buckhead somewhere. You know, some to that extent. You go down the block, they, they go to the hood, man. They go to poverty. Right. Okay? Well, with people out there catching bodies, there's rats everywhere. Okay? It's, it's roaches everywhere in this place. It stinks. So this is a filthy, um, this is a land of filth and a land of confusion, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Can you reread that, Babaku Shah? 2 Thessalonians <clears throat> 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except that come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. God, man, and that's self-explanatory, man. All right, and we we we've been fallen, but hey, Yahweh Shah, he came back and laid his life, man. Okay, to bring us back. Now it's time for this devil to fall, man, and it's time for you know Yasharala to 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 rise. Okay, rise up. Right. Okay, uh, you continue on, bro. Uh, verse four: Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God? Which he do? He does. Okay. Everywhere he go, he's like, he, he just makes his presence known. He's like, I'm here. I'm here to make this money. No, we're going to do it like this. No, we're going to do it like that. Okay? That's just one of the, the small characteristics of this prideful devil, man. Okay? These Edomites. Esau, Edom. So-called white people, man. Yeah, All right? talks about, uh, I think it's an Obadiah, what talks about the habitation is high. Yep. You know, we just saw it. Um, a really long sky, skyscraper. You know, that's, that's how Esau gets down by putting people way up in the air, mm -hmm. and it makes no sense. You know, having people living on top of people in what you call apartments. You know, not paying people at a proper time. You know, these different things that that's just totally backwards. And when you come into the faith, I mean, you pretty much uh, get to fill out for this devil. So we're just giving a friendly reminder of all the things that he's done, and this. We, it will be going on for uh, decades and, and millenniums getting on this guy. That's why, you know, according to the scriptures, you know, uh, he that leadeth into, into captivity shall go into captivity. All right. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. All right. That's talking about uh, the son of perdition, just the, the man of destruction, you know, which is Esau. This guy's trying to clone man and animals. <clears throat> or if, if he, he's already done it, now he's trying to give you, um, you know, this. Uh, the, the juice the juice yeah the juice man now he's trying to give you this technology where you can be in a virtual world you know he's he's doing everything that's against uh the most high mm -hmm. so uh god you can uh, start it back from the top second Thessalonians two and four who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called god or that is worship so that he as a god sitteth in the temple of god showing himself that he is a god mm -hmm. he is and god. yep and at the beginning it said he is all himself Okay, see, we're trying to get exalted through Yahweh by Shimei Yeah, Yahweh shots like it. Okay, because we're already a low people. All right, we've been going through stuff, you know, catching hell, 
physical infirmities, mental infirmities. All right, they put the woman above us. So we're already low, okay? We're just waiting on Yahweh Bashim Yahusha to exalt us. All right, but you have this powerful devil. Here it is. You know, he was blessed with the sword, but he used the sword to destroy everything because we just read he's the son of perdition. And yet he still exalt himself. Okay, meaning he walks around like his, um, you know, his stuff don't stink. Okay, I'm going to say it like that. All right. You you look on these different dollar bills. It's, it's all different, you know. It's basically idol worshiping. Okay. There's idols all on your money, on, on your coins. Okay. He always trying to brand himself, put his face out there, name a role after his own name. Okay. Just to let us know, as a reminder, on our behalf, that we're still slaves. Yeah, I got reset. Okay. Um, this is Nahum chapter 3. Uh, I'll start at verse um, <clears throat> 3 and 1. It says, now, oops, that's, the wrong, that's not the right one. Uh, Nahum is kind of mixing up a little bit. Nahum 3 and 1. Well, Nahum 3 and 4, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that sell of nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. And Esau is putting up witchcraft in Babylon constantly. It's constant demonic devices that throw the people off. Mm -hmm. You know, you got a modern majority of people that eat these bad foods. You know, even though the truth is out about that, like, you know, these fast food restaurants, you know, but these, this is all witchcraft. These people are still under this, uh, um, this this magical wand of Babylon and, and the folly and entertainment of it. Mm -hmm. and that's another thing, you know, Esau creates these, uh, he's basically creating like a fun world for people, man. You know, mm -hmm. there's nothing fun going on right now. Yep. I was watching this, um, this little show. It was a real TV show, a food show. I forgot the name of it. But, um, they had judges and this, this individual, you know, he cooks. So, he made like a dish and basically, the judges was eating a dish then he's then they asked him all right so what's your three main ingredients he said shark something else and then he said human flesh oh, man. they couldn't believe what he just said oh, man. then they thought he was lying you know the the producer was about to stop recording and stuff but he he was powerful enough to say he said yes human flesh that's witchcraft this is you know just a small example okay but uh, I'm, I'm i'm gonna stop um <laughs> rambling around let's get back to the scripts all right, let's go to, um, I got a pre-sub. Come on. Um, let me see. give you one sec. Ezekiel chapter um, 25. Well, my phone is tripping. Hold on, let me go. You got a pre-sub? Con, um, I you, I'm about to say, you go back in that, um, second that's one. Yep. All right, all right, Con. I'm, I'm going to my other phone, my blue letter. Something's going on with the uh, other Bible app, Salaki. All right, so this is uh, let's say, man, Second Thessalonians two and um, five. Remember you not that when I was with you, I told you these things. Mm -hmm. Verse six, and now, and now you know that beholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. Yep, and the Lord's been spiritually revealing this devil. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's been revealing this devil through through prophets, man. Okay, mm -hmm. and the prophets, you know, are, are are sheep that was once lost but now are found, man. All right, because we've been guided back through the spirit. All right, we're following the shepherd to the best of our abilities, man. Which is Yahweh Shah. Okay, so here it is. We was just out here. We're seeing everything that goes on. All right, and the water Yahweh by Shem Shah that he woke us up, but we came back as a report. Like, man, this been going on, that's been going on. Man, you got niggas over there selling this, and you got, you know, people over here doing that. So this place has a has an ultimate bad, you know, report. Okay? Where it says where it says um in Amos 9 and 8 that his eyes are upon a sinful kingdom. Yeah. Yes, man, this is a sinful kingdom, man. Okay? And it's full of bad reports. We're constantly um complaining to the Heavenly Father about this place, about being in this place, man. It's like, man. You know, you, you got people, you got man marrying man, woman marrying woman, okay? And everybody knows it. And then you just got people that just are totally degenerous, man. Like, people getting ready. I mean, the spirit of Thanksgiving is dead, man. But people still are getting into this nonsense, that witchcraft. And, you know, these people are just, they're just done for. You're tired of living around the quality of these people who Esau has corrupted, man. Mm -hmm. You know,
know, we're waking up with these simple people, man. I, uh, our people have been made simple as well. You can't even get a decent conversation uh, from Jake, man. Jake always playing around, always eating abominable foods. Mm -hmm. So that has penetrated and went to our people, man. The scriptures say don't be ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Mm -hmm. When you pick up the scriptures and you get the spirit from your how about from your shy, man, hey, you, you're not, you know, you, you see, you see what the devil's doing, man. Con, yep. Through the spirit and your own, you know, your own life, you know. Con. Yeah, that was beautifully explained, man. You can uh, continue on. All right. Uh, Second Thessalonians 2 and 7. For the mystery of iniquity that already worked, only he who now let us will let until he be taken out of the way. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, he's going to be him. All right. This devil is going to be a devil until he get taken out of the way. And how is he going to get taken out of the way? Through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right. When he cracked the skies with the chariots. Okay. And, and, and they burn this place. All right. They're going to deliver the, the elect, the one third. They're going to destroy the two thirds of Israel. Then, as for these heathens out here, they're going into captivity. Mm -hmm. And Esau, man, he, he's going to be the main one who's going to get the, the, the worst of the worst. All right? And everything's going to be in righteousness. Mm -hmm. Okay? And it's only fair. Okay? Yahweh is going to come back to replenish the earth. All right? To, to make it new again. All right? This place needs some life. But he's killing everything. Okay? <laughs> you got it, bro. Uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, mm -hmm. and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Yeah, and that brightness going to his glory, okay? Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen like that. It's going to be literal. Scripture says, every eye shall see. Everybody's going to see Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, get destroyed by a lot of missiles, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, also going to see Yahweh Shah come back. Yep, also going to see Yahweh Shah come back. Yahweh Shah is going to get busy, Okay? So, hey, man, these are heavy times, man. This is prophecy. This man, he's going to continue to push, you know, dumb laws. All right? He's going to continue to push his agenda. He's going to continue to push that, that wicked vibration until he get taken out of the way, man. Okay? You continue on. Um, verse uh, 9. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders... And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Mm -hmm. And yes, man, hey, this devil do got power. And look what he's he's using the power uh, against, so to speak. OK, look what he's doing with this power. Again, he's destroying everything. OK, it said it said what lion wonders. Yes, man. Mm -hmm. When they push that on um, that chip, that's going to be a lion wonder. People's gonna be wondering, on uh, man, this man took a device, and now this man can walk again, and they gonna, they, hey, Jake gonna be lined up, okay, just like Jake was lined up um, for for the juice, okay, for the jab, so to speak, okay, they were just lining up, thinking it's all good, like it's second nature. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, come on, man, get your head in the game. Yeah, it says uh, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved, and the Lord. You know, he's clearly seeing that you're making a distinction between uh, who's serving the Lord and who's not. Mm -hmm. You know, we do the best that we can. We're not perfect, all right, but we're constantly striving to seek the Lord day and day. You know, sometimes, you know, you might not feel like you're in the spirit, but hey, you, you're doing a whole lot better than the majority of these people out here, man. Oh, yeah. You know, like we, we was talking about Thanksgiving, you know, you got uh, Sabbath coming in on Thursday night, but most of, them people, most of these people are going to be stuffing their face. On Thanksgiving, man. So the Lord is making a distinction, even with our people, to, to, to get this truth. Because you know we're the only ones that's through the Spirit of the Lord telling you about this devil and his atrocities. But our people, they 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 still they want to get back into the folly now and in the holiday seasons. Yep, yep. You continue on, bro. You can have it. There goes. It says, and for this cause. Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Mm -hmm. Because you guys, hey, here it is. You guys took liberty, all right? Do Esau eat them? Decide to do wickedness. And you guys believed in that, all right? So keep that same energy. Now, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is going to send y'all strong delusions, all right? Because y'all rejected him anyway. For those who rejected him, and Esau, he ain't never going to get it, all right? These heathens, they don't have a power like we do. All right, our power, which is Yahweh Shemiah Shah, hey, he chose us, okay? 
Therefore, we got to keep the things and, and rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability until his return, man. While, while the devil being the devil, we got to do our part. Okay? You got it, bro. Uh, verse 12, that they all might... All might be damned who believe not the truth, but have pleasure and in righteousness. Yep, and they will be damned, man. Okay, just like that. Um, <laughs> I remember, uh, Coach Crawley he, he said it before that um, Kendrick Lamar cover it has damn on the front of it. Yeah. And he had that, you know, that look in his face. That's how that's gonna be the looks of a lot of um, Jakes out here too, man. They're gonna be like, damn, I could have, I could have repented. That's all I had to do was to repent and believe in Yahweh by Shimei Al Shah. But but now it's too late, okay. But um, let, is that all on um that um Second Thessalonians? Yeah, it's all on that. Can you bring out your precepts? Uh, let's see Jeremiah thirty and uh, sixteen, and it reads, <clears throat> "Therefore, all that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee." Shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Mm. So the Lord is going to do that to the ones that's uh, to uh, toiling us and uh, wearing us out, because it's the saint. Um, he said, the scriptures talk about he should wear out the saints of the Most High. Yep, man. yep. And we still all got to go out here and work and do our day to day duties here in Babylon, you know, and do uh, first and foremost do our obligations in the spirit, like you know, doing lessons, but. The saints are worn out, man, and we're gonna wear out Esau in the kingdom and build up a, a real kingdom that's established on on righteousness, man. It's, it's just too, it's just getting too weird and demonic out here, man. Especially oh yeah. this time of year. So, mm -hmm. you know, that Esau gotta do, gotta pay for stuff like daylight saving time, man. Totally just, you know, jacking you up in the body, man. Yep, yep. It's like it's it should be like kind of still like sunny right now, man. It's just too dark out here. You know, it's just a really demonic place man and he's all has to pay <clears throat> for things like things such man it's witchcraft that we keep going into yeah and we're going to think about all the things this devil done man life could have been different right now all yeah. right but he ain't he ain't got it he's a son of perdition yeah so we're, we're going to meditate terror on you devils man we're going to put our foot up your ass okay but um you had anything else bro uh go to revelation 13 god Matter of fact, let's go to Isaiah 60, man. Just Come to get off if you don't have anything. Come on. Uh, Isaiah 60 and um, 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. He's going to have mercy on the Israelites, even two thirds of our people. The scripture even says, All Israel. Uh, shall be saved man so these different heathens you know you imagine these heathens in our neighborhood now and you know they know how to market and manipulate our people to buy their products and to you know invest in these heathens you know mm -hmm. invest in uh, heathens setting up shop yep in the so-called black community making millions off of them but in the kingdom of heaven these other heathen nations they're going to build all right <clears throat> the kingdom of heaven and it's not going to be this this place, especially with these torn up roads and this, this dirty air, it's not gonna be that. It's gonna be a new heavens and a new earth. Yeah, just like um, how we work our ass off on this in this filthy kingdom, okay? Everything flow into the richest man, all right? Yeah. While yeah. we over here busting our ass, this, you know, these devils out here, they're getting richer and richer, okay? It's gonna, it's gonna be a flip in the script, all right? Mm -hmm. Our kingdom of heaven, man, hey, what the, what the scripture says, um, that the other nations shall flow into Israel. Mm -hmm. So while y'all busting y'all ass and, and working, all y'all riches is going to come to us, all right? First to y'all, how about Shimei Osha, okay? Because there is an order, which Esau clearly, clearly don't have, all right? Because this place is out of whack, man. It's out of order. But yeah, man, hey, it's going to be a flip in the script, man. Everything you guys have done to us, we're going to do 10 times worse to y'all. Not all that weird old stuff either. Yeah. Man, Esau, yeah. Esau weird, man. Weird with it. Uh, I'm going to end off in the scripture. I'm just jump down to verse 12. <clears throat> For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. So as mm -hmm. a friendly reminder, Esau, this is going to be you in the kingdom of heaven after you setting up a land established on witchcraft <clears throat> and wickedness and deceit and robbery and fraud. All right, you're going to serve us <clears throat> and you're going to be utterly wasted if you don't bow down because Esau, 
still gonna be powerful, man. He gotta get beat down, man. He gotta have we gotta have that uh rod of iron, man, to get get on Esau in the kingdom. Con, con. But yeah, bro, uh, that's pretty much all I had too. Yeah, con. Con. Yeah, man, Lord willing on um, this intrinsic was um edifying, okay? Wouldn't we'll close out but give all honor and glory on two. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakhakwadash. Yeah, but honest to our apostles and elders will get millstone and peace, love, and salutations to your hopeful less been pushing the truth, okay? With that, shalom. Shalom.